How are you, my dear listeners? It is always my joy and my pleasure to bring you a word that the Lord normally puts in my heart. I want to thank you for your continued support. I want to thank you for subscribing, for commenting, for following. And as I always tell you, I have been praying for you. And I know that soon and very soon, I will receive your testimony. Today, I have a word for somebody. And in today's video, I will be speaking on arise and confront your giants. Giants are things that come to contend with our destinies. They are demonic powers that come to resist our progress and instill fear in our lives. And I will base today's message on the story of David and Goliath that I know most of us we are familiar with. But like I always say, the word of God is fresh each time we listen to it. And therefore, even as I get to the business of sharing the content, I pray that you will receive it with a receptive spirit. And above everything else, you will receive that provocation. And you will be tired up to arise and confront uh, any giant that has been uh, fighting your progress. And therefore, I want even as we continue with the video, be thinking and be wondering and be checking out which are these giants that are all in my life. I want us to go directly to the word of God. In this channel, we believe in the word of God, which is the word of Jesus Christ, and we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For the sake of the first time viewers, it's good I introduce myself. My name is Jerin Derito. I am a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ when I'm doing my ministry work, but when I'm in the marketplace, I am a life coach and a consultant. I am your partner to equip you to live a victorious life and to fulfill your life destiny and purpose so that you're not just here on earth to pass days, but you are here to make an impact. Let's go straight to the word. I will be reading from the book of First Samuel, chapter 17, verse 45 and verse 46, part A. If you want to get the whole story about David and Goliath, I want to encourage you to read the whole chapter during your free time. I'm not able to do that now for the sake of time, but I will read these two scriptures because that is the meat of the matter. And I know that together we are going to be blessed. And this is what the word of God says. Then David said to the Philistine, this was Goliath, you come to me with a sword, with a spear and with a javelin. That was when Goliath was advancing towards David. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Please, I want you to intentionally note every word because every word here will help you and will help me as we confront the giants that are in our lives. You notice that David is telling Goliath, you come to me with physical uh, weapons, like a spear, a sword, and a javelin. But I want you to note what David is saying. David was not saying, I come to you. He was not naming his worldly weapons. But David is saying, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. Somebody say hallelujah. The God of the armies of Israel whom you have defied. So in short what David was telling Goliath is that you think you're fighting me a small boy whom you are despising and looking down upon. But what you do not understand uh, as I come against you I have the backup of my God the great I am. Uh, how many know our God is great in battle. He has never been defeated. Uh, and in short uh, David was telling Goliath uh, you you are coming against me in the flesh. Uh, you are coming against me as one small boy but I'm taking it to a higher level. I am telling you, you are rising against the God I represent, uh, the God of heaven and the God of the nation of Israel. And I want you to understand the moment to involve God as you are confronting every giant in your life, uh, you catch his attention. Uh, and as we continue, you will realize even as you go and read that story, that giant died in the hearts of a young boy. Why? Because David decided the battle is not me. You are not coming against me as a person, but you are coming against the God I represent. And even before I finish with the scripture, I want to give you a challenge. Who is your God? Do you know your God? Are you confident like David 
about the power, the nature, and the capabilities of your God. Because let me tell you, my listener, unless you understand who your God is, those giants will succeed to slay you. Let's continue with the word. And therefore, David continued and says, The God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Remember, this giant was mocking the God of Israel and the army of the Israelites until they were trembling. They were in fear. At verse 46a says, this day, somebody say with me, this day, not tomorrow. I just love the confidence of this young man. He had the revelation that even King Saul did not have, that even the commanders of the army of Israel did not have. David understood that today, as I'm confronting this giant, he will not be dealt with by my God tomorrow. It is today. And even as we continue with this word, I want to prophesy over somebody that giant uh, that has been mocking your God, uh, mocking your prayer life, uh, telling you it is now a new year. I am still sitting on you. I want you to understand uh, that as long as you can store up your faith like David uh, and uh, rise and face that giant uh, today, this moment you are listening to this video, that giant shall be dealt with her. Uh, and the young man said, uh, this day the Lord uh, will deliver you into my hand uh, and I will strike you and take your head from you. What manner of boldness is that, my listener? This is not normal. Can you imagine a young boy, a young shepherd who had such audacity, who had such confidence to tell a giant that was making the entire army of Israel. And remember, the army of Israel was feared. It was great in battle, but they were afraid of this giant. But here came a young man with a revelation and he told him, today, the Lord, the God I serve will deliver you into my hand and I will strike you and take your head from you. I want to, even as you're listening to this video, take a moment and prophesy to every giant. Address that giant of financial loss. Address that giant that wants to check your marriage and kill it. Address that giant uh, that has been sitting on you, that giant of sickness, infirmity, and tell it right now. Today, not tomorrow, the Lord my God shall deliver you into my hands and I will strike you and take your head from you. I feel I should communicate this to somebody. I want you, as you're reading this scripture, be intentional. David did not say that the Lord my God will strike you. No. He said, this day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand. What revelation I get is that the work of dealing with the giants in my life is for us. The only work of God is to empower us and give us the strategies to strike every giant. And therefore, I want to prophesy over somebody right now. May you receive the capacity. May you receive the power and the strategies and the bonus to kill and strike every giant that has been contending with your destiny. I want you to understand my listener, like I said earlier, that giants are the battles that are huge. Today, you will not see giants in the, in the name of Goliath, but you will face giants in the name of battles that are huge and they intimidate your progress in life. Giants, I want you to know my listener, they ride on the wings of fear and control. They plant fear in your life and then they control you and dominate you until you cannot even move. That error must be corrected right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to understand that giants, they instill fear fear in you until you run away and flee and hide yourself. Uh, you even forget uh, that you are more than a conqueror. You forget uh, you carry the nature of God. Uh, and as you are fleeing and running away, the giant is mocking you and laughing at you. But I came as a servant of God to prophesy that giant will not mock you this year. That giant will not mock your marriage another day because this day you are receiving the power 
to slay that giant in the name of Jesus. Sir. I want you to know that giants, sir, they control you. They make you feel small. Can you imagine? Because they are huge. They make you feel limited. They make you feel unqualified, inadequate, and incapacitated. And how many know these are lies? Because we carry the nature of God. We are more than qualified. We are more than conquerors. We are the royal priesthood. And therefore, it is an error, my listener, for you to allow a giant and to make you feel inadequate, that giant must fall today. In the name of Jesus, I want you to know that giants are giants limit your personal life growth and they are determined to pin you permanently on the position of stagnation, frustration, desperation, and zero life progress. If you are listening to me and the giants have managed to do that, I prophetically prophesy you are receiving the power to advance to the next level in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to know that giants also represent uh, evil spiritual powers. Uh, sometimes you may not even see them uh, but they are spiritual powers and hosts of wickedness uh, and their work uh, is to challenge your faith in God uh, like Goliath was doing uh, but I want you to understand child of God uh, that God is in the business uh, of increasing your faith uh, and my faith. Uh, God is in the business uh, of multiplying our faith uh, and Till as we advance against these giants, uh, we shall have the audacity of David, uh, and God shall deliver every giant into our hands in the name of Jesus. Another thing you notice that giants do, they plant seeds of doubt, making you begin doubting the validity of the promises of God upon your life. But as long as you read the word of God, as long as you are in tandem with the promises of God, then you will understand what the word of God says, that all his promises are a yes and even a man. And therefore arise and tell that giant, I have discovered your lies. I have discovered your manipulation and call forth in your life in the name of Jesus. In a nutshell, my listener, what I'm communicating by the grace of God is that giants are river forces that if not confronted and dealt with and crushed, silenced and permanently destroyed, they have the power and the capacity to make you completely, not my word, completely irrelevant. And eventually, if you are not careful, they will kill your life purpose. They will kill your destiny. But I am here as a voice of God to say that shall not happen. Because you are listening to this word right now, I decree and declare, no giant shall kill your life destiny. In the name of Jesus, I want you to understand, even as you read this story in the Bible, it was as a result of the intimidation of Goliath, who was a big giant uh, that led to the emergence of David because we would never have known that David was a warrior and a great man in battle if it was not for Goliath uh, and eventually David gained such a momentum of influence uh, that King Saul's star imagine the star of the king of Israel started diminishing until he finally became irrelevant if you forget anything I'll say in this video, remember that giant in your life wants to make you irrelevant and that should provoke you to action. I don't know about you, but I refuse to be rendered irrelevant. I will do whatever it takes. I will fight to the last nail until I remain relevant in my generation. And therefore, even as you're listening to me, my listener, arise. Take your position and fight every giant in your life. I want you to understand that the enemy, who is the devil and the enemy of our destiny, he can plant, he has the capacity and the agenda to plant giants in our lives with the hidden agenda of destroying our current status and position of influence. And that should tell you and me, we can no longer allow giants to rule over us. We must arise and confront every rulership of every giant and dethrone it permanently in the name of Jesus. I want to quickly share with you, my listener, what strategies can you use to confront the giants in your life? And the first strategy is preparation. You must be ready. Avoid the error, my listener, of living a carefree and ignorant life 
but always be prepared to confront and destroy any emerging giant in your life. Because remember, our adversary, the devil, he roars like a lion looking for his next victim to devour. And therefore, if you're not prepared and the giant shows up, it will crush you. And like I said, it will make you irrelevant. It will kill your life purpose and destiny. Prepare yourself adequately by equipping yourself with the necessary skills of battle like David did. When remember he had earlier killed the lion and the bear. And therefore I want to challenge you. Learn to fight those small battles. Do not allow the small battles silence you into fear and into oblivion. Stir up your faith. Arise in prayer. And as you learn to command and to rebuke the small battles in your life, by the time the giant shows up, you will be more than ready like King David in the name of Jesus. And you'll have the capacity to confront them and slay them and finish them out of your life and your generation. And a very important point that is just dropping in my spirit. If you are a parent and you fail to deal with the giants, you are children and your generation they will face the same giants and therefore arise and fight them and confront them so that your generation will have a smooth life. I also want you to know preparation involves, especially for us who are the child, the children of God, prepare yourself in prayer, study the word of God, declare it over your life and over your circumstances and family so that you become spiritually strengthened and empowered and strong to face any kind of giant. And before I move to the next point, how is your spiritual bank account? Is it depleted or is it overflowing? Food for your thought. The second strategy is you must know the power of your God. Like I said earlier, do you know your God? Do you understand his powers, his capabilities and what he can do? When you know the mighty power of our God, then no giant can intimidate you or stop your progress in life. I want you to understand that no giant will scare you into silence when you understand the dynamic, the dunamis power of our God, who is the great Ayama, the great El Gibor. The Bible says he is great in battle and he has never been defeated. And therefore, if you know who your God is and what he can do, you will not fear any giant. The Bible says he's Jehovah El Gibor. He commands the armies of heaven. He's the Lord of the heavens armies. And when you know him, the no giant will stop you from fulfilling your life destiny and purpose. And remember my assignment in life is to provoke you, is to challenge you, is to positively compel you. You must fulfill your life destiny and purpose as long as you're connected to this channel because that is my mandate in life. Uh, and therefore, I want you to understand uh, that even the word of God says uh, in the book of Daniel uh, that those who know their God, they are God. You must know you are God personally. They will do exploits, uh, but you cannot do exploits successfully when you are faced with giants. And therefore, I want to challenge you. Arise in power and authority. Arise and understand the power of your God and uproot and silence every giant in your life and the other point is you must adorn the garment of boldness i want you to understand that david was bold everything that could be seen with the physical eyes uh, it looked contrary and even it looked like david was finished uh, but i want you to understand uh, that because he had boldness uh, not even the boldness of his expertise in battle but his boldness was propelled and pushed uh, by the god who he knew he represented. And I want you to understand, you cannot confront any giant in your life without boldness. Because fear is, remember what I said earlier, the giants plant fear in our lives. And the only way to come out of that fear I don't the garment of goldness. I decree, I declare right now, you are coming out of that cocoon of fear. You are putting on the garment of boldness. You are standing up and arising. You are putting on the full armor of God. And you are confronting every giant in your life. I also want you to understand my listen. I'd note that boldness is not a function of your body size, but it is a function of your faith and revelation. David was not big. He was a young boy. 
But because he had a revelation of the power and the capability of his God, he was able to kill a giant that all the men of Israel, the great men who were in the armies of Israel, even King Saul, the commanders of the army of Israel, even though they were trained and skilled and big, they could not. So may you receive revelation and power and faith to fight every giant in your life. And the other thing I want you to understand is that uh, David understood the principles of God. Remember he told Goliath, you uncircumcised Philistine. By calling the Philistine uncircumcised, what David was releasing in the spiritual atmosphere was the covenant of Abraham to come and back him up. Because remember God had told Abraham that for, for, the, for, me, for you to make a covenant with me, all the boys and the men had to be circumcised. And I believe the moment that David mentioned the word uncircumcised, God knew this one is a stranger to the covenant of Abraham. And therefore God had to come and arise and defend the descendant of Abraham. Do you know the principles of your God? Do you know the principles of the word of God? Do you understand the covenant of God? Imagine David was depending on the covenant of Abraham. But you and me, we are in the dispensation of the new covenant. The covenant of the blood of Jesus. And therefore it is an error. It is actually because of laziness and ignorance that we are allowing giants to control us and to limit us. And now I want to bring this message to a conclusion, my listener. Even as I pray for you, I want to encourage you that you are well equipped through Jesus Christ, as I've said, to arise and confront the giants in your life. I want to encourage you, refuse to bow down in fear, but arise and confront those giants like David did. I want you to know that your next level in life will be determined by how well you confront that giant of stagnation, that giant of sickness, that giant challenging you the stability of your marriage, that giant of limitation, that giant of cycles of failure and delay. And if you do nothing, then you will not achieve your destiny. And therefore, I want you to understand, refuse to take off in fear and panic, but instead uh, confront, receive the audacity to confront those giants like David uh, and use the available weapons uh, of our spiritual warfare, like putting on the full armor of God uh, and cut off those giants into pieces. Uh, be merciless, uh, because if you don't deal with the giants, uh, the giant wants to kill you. Like Goliath was telling David, I want to pray that may God give you the strength and capacity and boldness, like I said, to confront and utterly destroy all the giants in your life. I decree and declare, no giant will stop you another day. No giant will intimidate you another day. No giant will render you irrelevant in your generation. I propel you to arise and put on the garment of warfare and fight and confront every giant in your life. It was a pleasure to share with you, my listener, that word. I want you to know that God loves you and God desires that you live a life of victory. But you have to do your part like David. You have to arise and fight every giant in your life. Remember to subscribe and to press on that notification bell. Until I see you next time, Arise and confront the giants in your life. Thank you.